All right, I'm gonna show you how to pull treasury rates from today into Excel. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the treasury website. So if you type in treasury rates, it will come up right away. And you want daily treasury yield curve rates. So this is what the site looks like. You've got a table here. It's updated every business day with uh, the previous business day's treasury rates. So I want to pull this table into Excel. I'm going to go take this URL and I'm going to go back into my Excel file. I'm going to say data from web. And this is going to bring up an interface where I can input the URL. Now it's going to give me an option to pull in different types of data from the website. Uh, so table zero. Uh, as I can see when I click on this is the actual table I was just looking at this is exactly what I want so I go down to load and now it's going to load that table into Excel now the issue is you know I want the most recent Treasury rate I might want to pull this into a model I don't want the whole table there um, so I'll go up here and leave some space and I want a formula that's, that's going to pull the most recent date and the Treasury rate so here I'm going to use a formula that enables me to look up the last row or the last value uh, in the last row in any particular column. Uh, so I've got this lookup function. I use two for the lookup value and one over uh, the vector that I want to look up. So in this case I want the date in the first one. So I'm just going to take the date here and I'm going to pull it down pretty far below the table and the reason for that is these fill in new dates each um, each day it's updated and this can get to like 20 to 25 different rows so uh, I want to fix that and I want to use the same here so that no matter how many rows are in this table I'm able to pick them all up so I'm going to do that for the date it's going to look up the most recent I enter it and I'm going to change the format here to date and bam, I've got the last value. Now I'm going to take that same formula, I'm going to copy it down here to the treasury rate and say I want to get the 10 year. I'm going to pull this over to the 10 year and then I'm going to have exactly that convert to a percentage. But you can see when I converted that to a percentage, it's 0.67, so that's going to convert to 67%. So here I'm actually going to divide by 100, getting me the correct uh, current treasury rate. Now here's the deal, I want this to update every time I open the model or uh, press some refresh button. So I'm gonna save this as a Excel macro enabled workbook. And I'll say TSY import. Okay, so now I wanna go to developer and I wanna insert a button that's gonna enable me to refresh. I'll call this script refresh. Okay, and to simplify this, I'm gonna record a macro. I'll change the name later. Uh, so now all I wanna do is I wanna refresh this table. That's all I'm doing. So now when the treasury rate uh, updates next time, this is gonna pull the updated date and treasury rate uh, from the previous business day. Now I wanna press Alt F11, go into my VBA change the name here to refresh okay and so all I have to do now when I want to uh, refresh the button exit that right click this button assign macro refresh done I'll call the button refresh rates easy enough and now I'm gonna click refresh rates and it's actually going to pull the updated data and I can see the date and treasury rate clearly. It's the last for the 10 year. Uh, so I can use this data however I want. And that's how you use a combination of data tables and VBA to pull in current treasury rates.